The Evolution of Apple 1984 1984 is an iconic advertisement that changed the way society views commercials. Famous for having aired once, and only once, during the 1984 Super Bowl, it forever changed the way people viewed advertisements during the most watched sports event in the U.S. The beginning creates a sense of conformity and foreboding, a mood which is translated well through the matching clothing, baldness, marching in sync, and the tone in which the big brother figure is talking on the screen. The striking contrast between the heroine rebel and the rest of the group is both through clothing and gender. Her bright orange shorts and wielding a sledgehammer and sprinting pace immediately, immediately make her an outsider to the rest of the group. Since most of the audience had at least heard about this novel, the ad itself was extremely relevant to the times. The various angles and the consistent movement of the camera keep the viewer invested in the advertising. The oral modes encase not only the Big Brother figure speech, but also ambient noises such as marching, a random siren, and the girl yelling as she throws the sledgehammer. The end seems to tie everything together into one coherent thought. It makes much more sense once the text comes on the screen, the man speaks what is on the screen, and the infamous Apple logo appears. This advertisement is, u is also unique because it doesn't even showcase the product. It is simply a narrative, not a demonstration of Macintosh or even an image of it. This shows that people then would have been more patient to sit through a longer ad, even if the product itself was not involved. The story is what hooked the audience rather than Macintosh. The iPod Silhouette these advertisements are probably the most well-known of an almost obsolete product now. These bright, fun, colorful ads were everywhere, and even spanned multiple years. When iPods were the big thing among young, young adults, teens, children, and even adults, these advertisements were a craze. It showcases that the product is fun and engaging, and it shows that anyone can use it. With popular songs as the oral mode, it is also captivating to viewers to viewers because they can sing along or it will resonate because the viewer has heard the song before. The contrast is evident here. With a neon background, black silhouette, and a pristine white iPod, you can, e you can easily distinguish which is which. The white iPod is also a staple. Since almost everyone knows what one looks like, they can immediately identify what the product is without having Apple introduce themselves. With very little text, it makes it easier for a younger generation to pick up on the concepts of the ad without much thought. And as always, the signature logo appears, except now it is white rather than rainbow, which offsets the extreme illuminated backgrounds that were just flashed across the mode in which one is viewing it. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus in 107 seconds. This is a very quick and sophisticated approach in advertising by Apple. The contrast between letters and the backgrounds and the rate at which they appear and disappear is perfect for a quick-paced society with short attention spans, like ours. Switching between black and white backgrounds draws the viewer's attention further by constantly keeping them on their toes about what is next. Since it highlights the perks of each product without delving into too much detail that no one really pays attention to anyways, it is really smart. It is a very smart technique. The consistent black and white theme and more use of effects, wording, and product demonstration makes this advertisement much different than the other two contenders. It also seems to make professionals target audience since it is using very refined techniques to entice the viewer to the technological and design aspects of the products. It is showing them off to the consumer. All three have the signature Apple logo, a staple for their brand. Even if the content and modes and general target audience change, their logo still remains. Some color adjustments have occurred, but the rainbow slash colorful theme is still prevalent in some of their apps today, such as photos and music. Apple has changed their advertisements to reflect the general target audience of societal norms. In 1984, the target audience would have been those watching the Super Bowl, as well as those who had read 1984 by George Orwell. It correlates with the political environment, which was the Cold War, and it played on both the fears and irrational expectations of the future. The iPod silhouette advertisements are much brighter and happier, a target audience of mostly pre-teens, teens, and young adults. The early to mid-2000s themselves were a time of fun, carefree, and neon. With popular songs as the background, it was reaching towards a younger, pretty much millennial audience. The new advertisement 
relishes the minimalism and sophistication of society nowadays, and Apple prevails in the realm of this by showcasing almost the entire ad in black and white. Societal norms and cultures influence corporate advertisements and their target audience, and Apple is just one of those contenders.